Welcome back, everybody. We're watching episode five of season seven of Game of Thrones. The last episode ended with Jamie transporting gold and food from that they got took Stone. from High, Go High Garden to King's Landing, and Daenerys attacked them with the Dothraki and her dragon. We got to see some dragon action finally in yeah. battle. And Jamie now but, sees it is true. Yeah. That she does have dragon. But Drogon did get hit with one of those big old crossbows yeah. that they made. And Jamie tried to attack her with a spear at the end. Mm -hmm. He was about to get crispified until Brian knocked him into the river. I wish he didn't crispify. Crispify. <laughs> Whatever. And then crispy. So, yeah, that's pretty much the whole episode, other than some. Well, then she'd be left all alone. Yeah. That's her, 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 her right. Yeah. Starts well, to be left all alone. Arya showed up at Winterfell. Yeah. So, she got to talk to Bran and Sansa. She finally showed got to up. There's a little training with Brienne. And of course, Bayless, he's trying to do his sneaky, underhanded stuff. Mm -hmm. He probably sent a raven to King's Landing to tell Cersei all three of them at. At Winterfell. Yeah, probably. Well, let's see what he did. Let's watch episode five. But again, look into the flames. What do you see? A wall of ice. The wall. The only thing standing between us and the army of the dead is the wall, and the wall hasn't been properly manned in centuries. What suits you, Lady Stark? John left you in charge. He did. What do you think I should do? If you use them to melt castles and burn cities, you're not different. You're just more of the same. Listen. Yeah, I know, right? Rest their lives for stupid men. Nubby Lannister. <laughs> you said seven or eight in this season. Seven. seven. So we only got two more left after this one. Yeah, two more. Well, three count this one, two more after this one. And then six episodes in season eight. So you only got nine episodes left to watch. I went from 20 a week ago, right? Yeah, we've been knocking them out. <laughs> She's ready to get done. <laughs> yeah. Watch the East Watch. He, he should have sunk down with all that gear on. He did. That's why Brom pulled him up. Yeah, help him up. You could have killed me. What the fuck were you doing back there? Ended the war. Killing her. Ended the war. Mm -mm. I wasn't thinking. Listen to me, cunt. <laughs> Till I get what I'm owed, a dragon doesn't get to kill you. You don't get to kill you. Only I get to kill you. <laughs> that was only one of them. She has two more. If she decides to use them, to really use them. I'm not going to be around when those things start spitting fire on King's Landing. I have to tell Cersei. Might as well jump back in that river. Why well, tell you might as well jump back in that river? <laughs> Telling Cersei. Oh. <laughs> Well, at least they captured some, you know? Yeah. 
said, now you gonna come with me. That's what she said. Oh, please don't do that. I know what Cersei has told you, that I've come to destroy your cities, burn down your homes, murder you and orphan your children. <laughs> I'm not here to murder. And all I want to destroy is the wheel that has rolled over rich and poor. I offer you a choice. Bend the knee and join me. Or refuse. And die. <laughs> Yeah, I better bend your knee. Look at these two. Oh, you two. Step forward, my lord. Hmm, I'm surprised. I already have a queen. My sister. She wasn't your queen until recently, though, was she? <laughs> Tell it! Tell it! So it appears your allegiances are somewhat flexible. Hmm, right? No easy choices in war. Say what you will about your sister, she was born in Westeros. You, on the other hand, murdered your own father. <laughs> so? Chose to support a foreign invader. So? An army of savages at her back. You will not trade your honor for your life. I respect that. Perhaps you could take the black, your grace. You cannot send me to the war. You are not my queen. <laughs> now, why are you be trying to save people? They want you dead. You will have to kill me too. Step back and shut your mouth. I, I, Dickon, we could kill you. I'm Dickon Tarly, son of Randall Tarly. You are the future of your house. Don't let it happen again. Bend the knee. I will not. Okay. Sam. Sam get to do it. Nothing scrubs bold notions from a man's head like a few weeks in a dark cell. I meant what I said. Mm. I gave them a choice. They made it. Shut up, Terry. Mm. Your grace. Anybody else don't want to bend the knee? Come on, John, because I don't want to have too many trips back and forth up here. Yeah, you sure ain't got no loyalty, so stand there, dig on, and Lord die. Randall. Plus, you, you disown Sam. First of my name, breaker of chains and mother of dragons, sentence you to die. Dracarys. Ah! Dying! This is quick. Yeah. I mean, the knife over the beginning was quick, too. They're like, oh, okay. I'll bend my knee now. You pissed her off. He pissed her off. Because you know your sister. You know what I'm saying? You know her. My Lord. Don't tell me they got a raven already. How many men did we lose? All of them. We haven't done a full accounting. It's not only armies that win wars. We have the Tyrell gold, we have the Iron Bank behind us, we can buy mercenaries. Mm. I just saw the Dothraki fight. They'll beat any mercenary army. They'll beat any army I've ever seen. A dragon burnt a thousand wagons. Kyber and Scorpion fight balls bigger than you. They couldn't stop it. And she has three of them. This isn't a war we can win. So what do we do? Sue for peace? What sort of offer do you think she'd make? Maybe we can count on Tyrion to intercede on our behalf. By way of apology for murdering our father and son. Tyrion didn't kill Joffrey. He had nothing to do with it. After all this time, it's still amazing. Uh, it was Olenna. Mm -hmm. If you were Olenna, would you rather have seen your granddaughter married to Joffrey or Tommy? Which one would Marjorie have been better able to control? Which one would have made Olenna the true ruler of the Seven Kingdoms? Did I see an eye twitch? <laughs> I shouldn't have listened to you. 
She should have died screaming. She's dead. Like her son, her grandchildren, her whole house. And if we don't find a way out of this wall, we'll follow them. Told you. Told you. She ain't giving up nothing. You we'll have to kill her. Still ain't bending no dog on me. Get your raggedy tail off that dog on dragon. Still ain't bending no knee. You gonna lick his face? Bite his hand out. His teeth look like gold. <laughs> All right, John, either you need a bath or... You know, right? He's got a dirty... <laughs> Maybe it's his gloves. He hasn't been down in the mines with digging and stuff. Oh, he like her? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He ain't never did that, huh? Nope. Barely with her. You know? He drawn to him for. They're beautiful, aren't they? Wasn't the word I was thinking of, but. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> They're not beasts to me. No matter how big they get, how terrifying to everyone else. They're my children. But she was scared that he was going to do something to him. Yeah, you saw that look on her face? You ain't like, gone long. No. And I have fewer enemies today than I did yesterday. You're not sure how you feel about that? No, I'm not. How many men did your army kill taking Winterfell back from the Boltons? The Boltons deserve to die. Sometimes strength is terrible. Have you asked that boy to spend me one more time? When you first came here, Sir Davos said you took a knife in the heart for your people. Sir Davos gets carried away. So it was a figure of speech. <laughs> Now he bad. Oh, great. But he really wasn't that far from her either, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jon Snow, this is Sir Jorah Mormon. I served with your father. He was a great man. You look strong. You found a cure? I wouldn't be here if I hadn't. I return to your service, my queen. If you'll have me. It would be my honor. Yeah, don't even... I guess she ain't gonna never find out that story about take a stab in the heart. Uh -huh. Everybody always interrupt her when she's trying to get the truth. I always thought the ravens was an indication of the White Walkers. Oh, shoot. Ravens. We need to send ravens. I remember Walcom. A little timid, but a sharp mind. <laughs> <laughs> a crippled boy claims to have seen dead men on the march beyond the wall. Thanks to the magical help of a raven with three eyes. Yes, it is a bit much. Still, we ought to... Brandon run... Stark. A crippled boy. Do you know him? I led him through the wall years ago. I saw him go beyond the wall. And? Somehow. A crippled boy survived for years beyond the wall when no one else could. Perhaps we ought to listen to what he has to say. I sense a more detailed proposal is forthcoming. Yeah, old boy. <laughs> Everyone in Westeros trusts and respects you. If you tell people the threat is real, they'll believe it. It could be done. And this news could be authentic. It's also possible that this message is part of a ploy by the Dragon Queen. Um. That does seem far more likely than magic birds talking to cripples. Archmaester, please. It's real. I've seen it. We will write to Maester Vulcan at Winterfell for clarification. Archmaester, that please. That will be all, Tarly. Is he the one whose father and brother were just burnt alive? I'm afraid so. I haven't had the heart to tell him yet. 
Who's that for? Jon Snow. Who did you say? <laughs> Nothing good. <laughs> I thought Arya was dead. I thought Bran was dead. Why say nothing good? Bran saw the Night King and his army marching towards Eastwatch. Really? I need to go home. You said you don't have enough men. We'll fight with the men we have, unless you'll join us. And give the country to Cersei. Perhaps not. Cersei thinks the army of the dead is nothing but a story. Did you say that? I don't think she'll come see the dead at my invitation. So bring the dead to her. I thought that was what we were trying to avoid. We don't have to bring the whole army. Only one soldier. Bring one of these things down to King's Landing and show her the truth. <laughs> the only person she listens to is Jamie. He might listen to me. And how would you get him to King's Landing? <laughs> I'm a smuggler. I can smuggle you in. But if the gold cloaks were to recognize you, I'm warning you. I'm not a fighter. Well, it'll all be for nothing if we don't have one of these dead men. Fair point. How do you propose to find one? With the Queen's permission, I'll go north and take one. You asked me to find a cure so I could serve you. Allow me to serve you. Hmm. The Free Folk will help us. They know the real north better than anyone. They won't follow Sir Jorah. They won't have to. Why she look like she? You're not in the Night's Watch anymore. You're king in the north. I'm the only one here who's fought them. I'm the only one here who knows them. I haven't given you permission to leave. With respect, Your Grace, I don't need your permission. Hmm. I am a king. I came here knowing that you could have your men behead me or your dragons burn me alive. I put my trust in you. I'm asking you to trust in a stranger. She like John, don't no. That's why she ain't killed them yet. Not here. I'm gonna say, take the thing on with you. <laughs> the king in the north should stay in the north. We did not choose you to rule us, my lady, but perhaps we should have. The knights of the Vale came here for you, Lady Stark. Hmm. This white, too bit. You are very kind, my lords, but John is our king. He is doing what he thinks is best. We did not. Yeah, because she's about to see what you truly made of, you know. He didn't leave the North and expect to just sit and wait for him like ghost. He didn't. He trusted you to hold it for him. These are mother and father's chambers. And? Nothing. Don't do that. What? Say what you mean. You always liked nice things. Made you feel better than everyone. Tell the truth. And she still like that, boo. She still like that. They were insulting John. And you sat there and listened. I listened to their complaints, which is my responsibility as Lady of Winterfell. Glover has 500 men, Royce has 2,000. Offend them, and John loses his army. Not if they lose their heads first. Winterfell didn't just fall into our hands. We took it back. I'm sure cutting off heads is very satisfying, but that's not the way you get people to work together. Hmm. You didn't. He did. And if John doesn't come back... You'll need their support, so you can work together. How can you even think such a horrible thing? Because that's who you is. <laughs> that's who you You're are? You're thinking it right now. You don't want to be. But the thought just won't go away. I have work to do. Hmm. She telling like it is. Well, I'll tell you. From the beginning. <laughs> that's what she always wanted Last to be. Last time I was here, I killed my father with a crossbow. Last time I was here, you killed my son with wildfire. Hmm. Wow. There's a path to the left that hugs the cliff. The guards hardly ever patrol it. You're not mm -hmm. staying here? I've got my own business in Flea Bottom. What if someone takes the boot? Then we're fucked. <laughs> Best hide. <laughs> Best hurry. Oh. We don't have time for this. We should be preparing the city for a siege. The Dothraki are coming. All the more reason for you to train. Today might be the day I kill you by accident. Mm. Oh, uh, you won't be swinging it at me. Hmm. Hmm. I'll leave you to it. Oh, you won't be swinging at me. Why are you surprised? You made me look like a complete fool. I thought I'd surprise you by hitting Costly Rock. But you were three steps ahead of me. Father would have been proud. Don't talk about father. Listen to I me. I once told Brian that if I ever saw you again, I'd cut you in half. 
Well, there's your opportunity. Right now, but time and space in between, y'all. <laughs> I'm just like... He was going to execute me. He knew I was innocent. Now you know that, Jamie. Do you think you... Did he think I wanted to be born this way? Did he think I chose? What do you want? Mm. Daenerys will win this war. You're a military man. You must know there's no way around that. Daenerys is not her father. She's even willing to suspend the hostilities if Cersei agrees to certain terms. You want Cersei to bend the knee, you can ask her yourself. I, I don't. And Daenerys doesn't. She has a more important request. What request is that? Wasn't sure I'd find you. <laughs> Thought you might still be ruled. That's robbers bastard. Mm -hmm. Should have known to come straight to the street of steel. Anybody give you any trouble? Well, here I am, arming Lannisters, and I never get a second look. But you were right. The safest place for me was right under the Queen's nose. Bad things are coming. He came to get me. You want me to come with you? Well, the thing you need to understand is... I'm ready. It? Yeah. Let's go. Mm -hmm. I've been getting ready. I never knew what for, but I've always known I'd know it when it comes. Mm -hmm. You might want to bring one of those swords. I don't know much about swinging swords. But this... This I know. Keep your father's name to yourself. Situation's complicated enough already. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord. I told you, Clovis, if we don't get out of here soon, you someone's there. gonna... What can I do for you? Is that your boat? It is. The docks are that way. That they are. I tried to stay away from them, to avoid good men such as yourselves. Still five gold dragons? <laughs> you joking? <laughs> you must be even older than you look. Fifteen. Fifteen? A piece. What? I can't say it was a pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> oh Lord! Look! 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 Oh Lord! Oh Lord! Oh Lord! He said, "I'm not a fighter." Wait a minute! Oi! Dwarf! Where'd you get that scar? Fishhook. Some men you just can't teach. We was looking for a dwarf with a scar like that a while back. Perhaps there's some arrangement? Arrangement? You're going to arrange to pay us more than Queen Sir? Wow. That's cool. This is Gendry. He'll do. Hurry up. <laughs> oh. Don't think that won't be necessary. He said behavior, sir. What is that? I can give you something. Why was Kaipan here? He's the hand of the queen. Why are you here? I met with Tyrion. How does she all care now about you? What did our brother have to say? Sir, this. You just gonna keep on defying me, right? That's how she looked. <laughs> To discuss an armistice. She just won a great victory. Why would she want a truce now? Because an army of dead men is marching on the Seven Kingdoms. Tyrion claims he'll have proof. <laughs> Are you going to punish him? Tyrion. Bronn, he set up a meeting without your knowledge or consent. Mm. Do you think anything of importance happens in this city without me knowing? You let it happen. Why? I've come to believe that an accommodation with the Dragon Queen could be in our immediate interest. She has the numbers. If we want to beat her, we have to be clever. We have to fight her like father would have. Whatever stands in our way, we will defeat it. For ourselves, for our house, for this. For what? This whore pregnant again? Who will you say is the father? You. What the? So she just don't give a dog on, does she? Hmm. People don't like that. She don't care about the people. Have she proved it? He used to say about people. The lion does not concern himself with the opinions of the sheep. <laughs> Never betray me again. Ah, see, I told you. 
killed you, she gonna have you killed too. The king's got a lot on his mind. I understand. He doesn't need to be thinking about harboring the bastard of a dead king. You don't have to worry. You're just Clovis, a smith who's come to pay his respects before he heads off to work at the Winterfell Forges. Understood. <laughs> Begging your pardon, Your Grace. You survived King's Landing. Yet again, Your Grace. This is Prince Gendry, Your Grace. I'm Robert Baratheon's son. Bastard son. He was meant to keep that to himself. Our fathers trusted each other. Why shouldn't we? What the what is it? Your father once at Winterfell. I met yours. In my shop. You're a lot leaner. And you're a lot shorter. <laughs> I grew up on stories about them. And all I ever knew is that they fought together and won. Sir Davos told me where you're going, Your Grace, and why. Let me come with you. He can handle himself. We could use the help. <laughs> <laughs> may not believe it. But I've missed you, Mormont. Nobody glowers quite like you. <laughs> not even Grey Worm. This is the coin the slaver gave me when I suggested he free us and pay us, remember? It was supposed to last us the rest of our lives. Take it with you, but bring it back. Our queen needs you. <laughs> I remember he knocked the crap out of him in that dog boat. We wouldn't shut up. Yeah. We should be better at saying farewell by now. Your grace, eh? If I don't return, like she got you ten. won't have to deal with the king in the north anymore. And I've grown used to him. I wish you could fortune in the wars to come, Your Grace. Mm. Mm. Do you know how many steps there are in the Citadel? No. 15,782. Wow. Yeah. Guess how many windows are in the Great Sept of Baylor? None. None anymore. That's true. Captain <laughs> Maynard, he recorded everything. He even recorded his own bowel movements. What does annulment mean? It's when a man sets aside his lawful wife. Maynard says here that he issued an annulment for Prince Ragger and remarried him to someone else at the same time in a secret ceremony in Dawn. Is that a common thing Look, in the South? Or these maesters, they set me to the task of preserving that man's wind accounting and annulments and bowel movements for all eternity, while the secret to defeating the Night King is probably sitting on some dusty shelf somewhere, completely ignored. Oh, but that's all right, isn't it? We can all become slavering, murderous imbeciles in thrall to evil incarnate, as long as we can have access to the full records of High Septum Maynard's 15,782 shits. <laughs> she said steps. <laughs> I know, she said steps. That number was steps. I be, he said, well, I be doggone. <laughs> Sam's on a mission. Sam gonna get caught. Well, how do you know which one is I real? know, right? The same. Piss. Sam leaving? Yeah. Wow. Look, Sam look like he managed to leave Are you sure you want to do this? You always wanted to be a maester. I'm tired of reading about the achievements of better men. <laughs> Seems like these people don't want to do nothing, so I'm going to do something myself. All right. They don't want to believe me. Why are they burning? It's just a torch they burn. Oh. Oh, burn. Look, look. Huh. I'm like, could you not see a full bigger person over there? Hmm. 
the maced. It took some searching. Mr. Lewin's archives are very thorough. You are sure this is the only copy in Winterfell? Uh, yes, my lord. Lady Stark thanks you for your service. Hmm. He did that because he knew she was right there, right? Probably. Mm -mm. Now, how did he get a lock key and nobody else don't have no lock key? I mean, really. Girl, he said you look. She won't get caught. She won't get caught, right? She won't get caught, okay. She won't get caught. Mm -hmm. You. What does it say? What is that? Is that message she sent to Rob asking him to come to King's Landing and bend the knee to Jelford? Who sent the note? Sansa. They made her they made her write it. Oh. Uh, they were holding her prisoner. Isn't it your job to talk him out of stupid fucking ideas like this? <laughs> How many queens are there now? And you need to convince the one with the dragons or the one who fucks her brother? <laughs> Both. <laughs> Not enough. The big woman. We were hoping some of your men could help. You see his eyebrows go up. He really love her now. You really want to go out there again? You're not the only ones. Not the only one. A mile south of the wall. Said they were on the way here. What the hell? I saw you once at Winterfell. They want to go beyond the wall too. We don't want to go beyond the wall, we have to. Thoras, I hardly recognized you. They won't give me anything to drink down here. Everybody know everybody. It's a big old happy family reunion, huh? Here we all are, at the edge of the world, heading in the same direction for the same reason. There's a greater purpose at work. For Clear fuck's the... sake, will you shut your hole? <laughs> are we coming with you or not? <laughs> He's right. We're all on the same side. Mm. How can we be? We're all breathing. Mm -hmm. We're all breathing. Mm -hmm. Makes sense, right? Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm like, shut it. I'm going to stay here. That's too much snow. That's a storm right there. You ain't got nothing coming your face or nothing. Hmm. So my thing is, where his wolf at? I don't know. Where ghost at? Seven men on a mission. More than seven. We got the people behind them, but yeah, they they're getting on my nerves. But this, I'm like, the other ones don't count. They the they the red shirts. Seven men, <laughs> look, seven men on a mission. The Westeros Avengers. <laughs> oh Lord, have mercy. That was that was good. 
It seemed like Daenerys has a little liking to Jon Snow, especially when Got a little gleam in that eye whenever she when when and and uh, you see what's his name, Jorah. Jorah. Yeah. yeah, he be he be peeping it right. Man, your old self, you just come on. I'll be happy. She young. You just live your days out infatuated with her, okay? <laughs> I'm like, wow. And I I love the fact that the dragon, what's his name? Drogon. Drogon. Um allow Jon Snow to touch him. Yeah, he he took it. He kind of likes Jon for some reason. Yeah. Trying to figure out, okay, okay. Hmm, made me like, I'm gonna read the book. I mean, it probably ain't got the best in the book, huh? What about the the reason why? I probably have to go see the stories, huh? This, this, see, this is way past the books. This way, is it way past the We don't even know if this is how it's gonna happen in the books because the books haven't been written. This is just what they did on the show. And Arya, I knew, see, I knew Baelish was, was playing his tricky games. I knew he was. And now he's trying to divide the Stark family. Yeah. Divide and well, divide he within. Does. He divides. Within. He, he calls a strife within family. He, he did it with... Uh, Who? Eliza. Kitty boy, mom. Yeah. Because she didn't want to help. She killed. She killed. She wouldn't help Catelyn. Catelyn. Yeah. So I'm. I'm just. He, what he got a dude? What's your heart on with this dog on Stark family? Because it's Catelyn was. What's her last name? Tully. Tully. So Sam is actually kin to her. No, Sam's last name is Tarly. Tarly. Oh, I thought it was Tully. No. Because when they sit up there running, they jib jab. You know. No. But yeah, it's but it all stems that Baelish was was in, when they were kids. Baelish was in love with Catelyn. Well, she did now, and she he he challenged Ned's older brother mm-hmm. because that's who Catelyn was supposed to marry. Yeah, challenged him to a fight, and he lost and got cut from balls to chest, basically. Who the brother? Baelish. Oh, so he mad about that? So you gonna play? Yeah, so he's been out for like against a revenge. For so revenge the, ever since then. That's crazy. That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. And of course, he plays everybody because he's trying to get to get himself on the on the throne. Yeah, but ain't nobody gonna put your little raggedy butt on. No, the he's trying to take everybody out, and position himself to be the one to take over. He's playing a long game. But oh, where he gonna die? That's all I want to know. Where he gonna die? Cause he get on my nerves. He he should have been dead. Yeah, but I know he's such a manipulative person. Like Sansa, girl, can you? <laughs> and then Arya, she's not. She's trying to be clever, but she's not as clever as him because he's actually playing her. That's what he's doing. He's actually playing her. So um, yeah, he need to die, and and Arya was being truthful and honest about Sansa. That's your whole. That's all you've been well, since you've been she, a child. That's how she remembers Sansa. That's who Sansa is. That's not how she just remember her. That's how Sansa is. Look at her the way she's doing this thing with people like, uh, she. She has this smart grin on her face when people, we didn't choose you, we, but we should have. Yeah. You know, she wants, she still wants to be queen. That's what she wants. She wants to be queen. That's who she is. I'm just, you, you can't get around that. That's who she is. Yes, she had a hard life and all that stuff. But I'm telling you, that stuff build her for the person that she is right now. She don't care. She she gonna play. She gonna try to. She plant. She trying to play the game, y'all. <laughs> I'm just saying. She trying to play the game. And then even with Jon Snow being the bastard, she still. I know she has that in the back of her head. Yeah. He's not the rightful owner of the uh, person heir to their 
throne, being a warden of the North, right? So, wait a minute. Did we see where she, when when Ned's sister was up, when Bran was going around, that's what you call him, son, isn't it? It's Ned's sister's son. Who? I'm talking about who? Jon Snow. Yeah. <laughs> I okay. think that's what it is. Because what other child? And she said, see, I beat y'all up. I was thinking about this earlier today before we started filming. What did I come to you and say about Cersei with the point? Her two kids, two of her children got killed, Joffrey and Marcellus, right? Were poisoned, right? So that should have gave her inclination that it wasn't Tyrion that killed Joffrey. If Marcellus died by the same thing, I'm just saying, you yeah. know, right? I, I'm just saying. That's the way I looked at it. That he was like, John, talk about what did that just pop in your head just now? <laughs> yeah, it sure did. I was in my room doing something, I was in the bedroom doing something, and that just popped in my head. I'm like, well, how come she, she knows she just hates Tyrion, she yeah. hates him. It don't matter if he he really uh, poisoned Joffrey or not, which we all found out he didn't. She just hates him. She It's like she hated him since birth because her mom died. But I don't think she would have turned out any different if her mom stayed alive, to be honest. Because Tywin looked like he, you know, he put, his, put the mom in her place. Shut up. They're over there. Take care of the kids. And they probably wouldn't, probably wouldn't, she wouldn't be this vicious, mili- uh, strategic, I'm just saying. Because then the mother would have had her off throwing clothes or something. Because apparently she can't make her own clothes. She got other people, but you see Santa came. <laughs> <laughs> it's just stuff I be paying attention to. Santa came, you know. I don't even think Arya know how to do it. No, Arya can't sober. So. So a lick. That she didn't want to learn. Yeah. But okay. I enjoyed this one. I get, they keep on making me mad when they be like, like they, in how they end it. It's like, what? For real? This is where we go. Y'all are supposed to be keep be I'm like, don't just stop Make it at a major point. They're going out to get a night walker. You know? Seven men on a long journey. See, at least you get to like watch the next episode tomorrow, probably. We had we had to wait a week to well, watch the I next know. episode. Sometimes we had to wait wait a year. Sorry, I had after the, the season ends that that suspense that you had to build up, and then when stuff happened, you been like, I can't believe this, but yeah, they're really pissing me off about these endings, though. <laughs> they really are. Like for real, it's making me want to just keep going, pushing through, and and not having no break. But I can't do that. No, because I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> he ain't gonna want to do that. So, and I can't, you know, push through without him. I just oh. uh-uh. we can, we can watch it, watch it tomorrow. You'll be all right. We'll get so. through. We're almost done. You only got like two more episodes. Two more in episodes this season. This season. And then eight episodes, six episodes in season eight. So you only got eight more episodes total. Okay. We try to do two two at a time. When we, yeah, we so try to do two at a time. Sometimes it doesn't some of them we might only have to do one because some of the next coming up are kind of long. I think the next two episodes are an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes a piece. Uh, so yeah, we might so. have to <laughs> do only one. But well, we, again, them. we see how I feel because I'll be like, oh, that's what? Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah. I got to keep going. I got to uh, keep I think, going. I think I'm pretty sure you're, you're going to watch. You're going to want to, after we watch this next episode, you're going to want to watch the one after that. Yeah. So. But the next episode is the adventurous. <laughs> well, I can't wait. I can't wait. 
All right. Thank you guys for joining on this journey. If this is your first time, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. As always, give us a thumbs up and leave your comments. Until next time. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>